welcome back to Never Dead. And yes, we are going back to the apartment. Where are we? Your room. I see. I see. Wait, where's Nikki? Hey, hey, hold on there. Wow, looks like you got some life back into you. I doubt you'll be needing this anymore. What's this? Well, madam, you've been served Claret de Bryce from the chef's personal blood bank. I see. How come you're so compliant all of a sudden? What's going on outside? A big demon parade, complete with floats and banners. Just what you'd expect. We even have a huge tower, the Demon's Nest, in the middle of the town. You know what it's called? That's what we called it 500 years ago, anyhow. I see. Well, now's a great time for a demon hunter to make his fortune. They're gonna try and resurrect the Demon King. That would spell the end of the world. Well... You're going, huh? It's about time I finished what I started half a millennium ago. I'm going with you. Take it easy, sweet cheeks. You need to rest. No, this is my job. If this is about Sullivan, put it behind you and move on. But I was the one who gave Nikki to them. I had a hand in something that might end the world. And besides, it's my job to make sure that you're earning your pay. No point in telling me not to come. I'll go at it alone if I have to. So are you in or out? If you slow me down, I'm gonna make you go back. You hear me? I hear you, Bryce. No problem. Fine, then. Take this. What is it? My blood. Use it if you're hurting. Okay. By the way... Yes? You're falling for me, right? <laughs> In your dreams, deadhead. That's more like it. <sighs> Thank you, Bryce. Well, this was an incredibly awkward cutscene. Possibly done on a shoestring budget. Anyway, so I'm going to do the whole thing again, but I'll cut most of it. I'll just show something new. As you see, this time there is a bonus in the hole. And how do we get there? Well, we... We explore this area. You see, there is actually a grating there. So, we pop our head off and down we go I had to use a guide to see how to get there down to a and the guide also told me that I had missed a bunch of other hotspots for example in the first visit you could throw your head between Nikki and Arcadia and that would have caused some reaction at some point there was also a bonus under the bed, and there was one behind the couch the girls were sitting on. Yeah, so the apartment is a very annoying thing. At least you can skip these cutscenes by pressing the start button, so it's not quite as bad on repeat visits. I'm not sure why they even created this level, I mean, it could have worked as a hub if this were an open world game. but. It isn't. It's mostly just a, a room for a cutscene on the second and the third visit. Anyway, let's go. Okay, we're hitting the streets again. But this time they are destroyed. So... What, Bryce dragged Arcadia back to her apartment, and now we're going back into the city. They're coming! Holy crap! What are these pigs? They just keep coming! Ah! Evacuate the civilian! Bryce, over there. Yeah, they seem to be losing the fight. Uh-huh. 
Alright, for this section we're just stuck in this area and our job is to defend people, meaning kill all enemies. So what about our skills? We don't really have much. We got extra XP after visiting Arcadia's place. And I guess I'm going to buy it. And overall, I think I should try to improve my blade, because that's the only thing that does anything. That and the explosive limbs. So let's put all the blade power we can get. As you see from what I'm doing, the abilities actually stack, so the bonus XP and the bonus damage are going to work together nicely. Right, now back to this. This is going to take quite a while. And you've probably noticed that there is actually a huge glowing thing in the middle of the arena. Which is a new weapon. I mean, our last new weapon. We may still find a double of something. Got it. It's the grenade launcher. Is it good? Uh, we'll find out later. As it is common with grenade launchers in games, we don't get much ammunition for it. I think it's one of the problems with Never Dead. There are a couple of really good guns, but you don't really get ammo for them. Like the shotgun, for example. You pick up hundreds of rounds for the handgun or for the submachine gun. But for the one thing that actually does damage, you only get boxes of 20. This is the perfect time to test the grenade launcher. Okay, Arcadia, thanks for testing. So the grenade launcher does exactly the same thing explosive limbs does, except it's faster and it needs ammo. the boss encounter of this level. It's the fight with two panda bears. It's so incredibly dangerous. Except we actually get quite a lot of room to maneuver in this area. Unfortunately, these guys seem to be immune to explosive limbs, so that's annoying. I'm going to take one out as soon as possible and then do something silly with the other one. I specifically try to get an achievement. about the other one. He's actually in a very good spot. Or oh, it, I don't know. Maybe they're girls, maybe it's a she. I'll try to get the panda bear over to where the lava is. And here you can see how regeneration works.
you'd think that with our arms and legs being usable as remotely detonated explosives, you'd be able to... You'd be able to stockpile limbs and just throw them at enemies, but no. Unfortunately, our best ability is a one-shot thing. Okay, so we need Panda Bear here. Because the achievement is to get one of those fuckers fall into the lava. It's not going too well for me. Okay, this is a good spot. Now it's stunned and uh, the physics engine, the crappy physics engine, is actually going to make it slip. Yes, come on. Shit. Oh, this didn't work. I just want to see this thing done. Maybe it's a silly idea, maybe I should just finish it off. <laughs> Alright, come on. Come here. Huh, you, you don't actually die if you fall into lava. That's... that's new. And that's the achievement for killing eight panda bears. There are only four of them in the campaign. So you'll have to play the story a couple of times, or... I don't know, replay this level through level select. And that's for dropping one into lava. Price! Over here! Arcadia, are you okay? And you? I'm good, but I can't get over there. I'll search for this. I'll meet you at the dinner. Okay, I could go along, you know. All right, be careful. Try some of this. Do we go there? Actually, no, we go the other way. And I'll be ending the video soon, and yeah, this is a short level. The other half is going to be slightly shorter and somewhat similar to Sonic 06.